This building was designed from the ground up to be able to integrate university and industry research. We were really fortunate to be able to aim for the highest possible quality facility. I mean, this building is a symbol of the hopes and dreams and plans for the U-Star program. The fact that we have wide open lab spaces like this, we have different types of researchers from different departments in offices right next to each other. This is a, a stunningly gorgeous facility. Everybody likes to work in nice, well-lit space with beautiful views. This is one of the most technically advanced buildings in the state of Utah, if not the most advanced. Whether we're dealing with vibration control or quality of air in the working environment, there was a lot of effort put into building a very advanced, very sound, solid structure that would support the research and the educational effort that's gonna go on inside here. It's been said that a nanofabrication laboratory is the machine shop of the future. So we have the full suite of tools from deposition of materials to photolithography to patterning for a wide variety of metals and silicon materials. The equipment that we put into the microscopy suite ranges anywhere from $500,000 pieces of equipment up to $3 million pieces of equipment. This is a confocal microscope. It is used to do fluorescence imaging with very, very high spatial resolution. This is one of the less expensive pieces of equipment in this facility at this moment in that it costs about $500,000. So for a small company, that's an immense expenditure and obviously they're far better off working with us. It's critical to have both the fabrication facilities and the microscopy suite. And to have them co-located here is very convenient. I know we live in this digital age and everything, you know, you can Skype with anyone and everyone, but just that organic nature of walking down the hallway, knocking on someone's door and being able to ask a question or meeting someone in the cafe and striking up a conversation, it's amazing the kinds of things that come out of that in interdisciplinary, multi-investigator projects. There's an arms race going on in the research world, which is a very competitive one. This building has already been key at bringing in large funding. For example, we recently received a MERSIC Center for Material Science Research. It's over $20 million. There's no way we could have gotten that kind of large, huge research project without having tremendous facilities behind it. This nexus that happens with medicine, engineering, researchers, and students, there's actually magic that happens when these types of people get together with people from industry and create very real solutions for very real problems. The U-Star building is a real invitation for industry to come to the university to work with our researchers on collaborative research. Inside a university, we come up with great discoveries. The question is, how do we actually get it to practical use? How do we get it out into society and actually make sure that somebody's benefiting from what's happening? U-Star is not just about basic science. U-Star is about taking science cutting edge science and engineering and moving it out into the world. The people who are in this building are used to our faculty and we came here specifically because we were intrigued and excited by the idea of working more closely with industry partners. What industry is going to see when they come to the U-Star facility, they're going to see folks that really want to collaborate and want to have a, a sense of customer service for, for delivering new ideas and new innovations that uh, industry can help to commercialize. James Lavoy Sorensen, his spirit lives in this building. It lives on in the naming of this building and I think it is an undercurrent of the passion that all of us have for finding the better way. The U-Star program is really a visionary program for the state's economic development, but this building is a concrete symbol of the investment the governor, the legislative leaders, and the business community have put behind that vision. And what we find in our recruiting efforts is that the state of Utah is a wonderful place to live. Once people find out about this, they really want to be here. Our name is already out there. We've already started to build a reputation. And now to have people come in and look at this, this, is, this seals the deal. It's a tremendous opportunity. It's a place to get people together so that our creative faculty and creative people from industry can really make things happen for the state of Utah.